There might be a silver lining to being cooped up at home. It's forcing us to get back in the kitchen. While some are rekindling an old passion for cooking, for others the struggle to get their daily nutritional requirements when left to their own devices is a very real struggle, Anusha Bradley reports. The showy social media posts say it all. Freshly made sourdough, fancy roasts and luscious cakes. It appears New Zealanders are lapping up the extra time in the kitchen. Jackie Walters from Nelson is one of them. The self-described basic cook says most of her meals used to be eaten out. I I really um, enjoy supporting our local cafes, um, particularly um, Maori Street, um, and I'm usually there um, for eggs in the morning. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yeah, and dinner is kind of, uh, you know, survival cooking for the kids and I. But along with her two teenagers, she's found she actually quite likes this cooking malaki and has discovered some unusual dishes. Baked radishes was a thing, which I didn't know. So we actually baked radishes and they were really good. So we're trying all kinds of stuff and, and trying to... Um, to sort of do low carb as well. So I had some almond flour, so got into the old um, making the keto pizza with the almond flour, and so we made cheese scones. My kids, who are 12 and 13, have said to me that one of the highlights of lockdown is my cooking. So there we are. I feel quite proud. Tim Durrant from Hawke's Bay is also rediscovering his passion for cooking. Um, I've always been keen on cooking, but we didn't really have the time. So, you know, it was was always... uh, an aspiration to have lots of time so it's meant that I can make fresh pasta and uh, be a bit slower with it with the children and and just make it with them while we're while we're home. And shortages mean he's forced to get creative too. My three-year-old daughter used a uh, uh, very precious yeast to make a mud pie uh, so it had me uh, quickly researching how to how to make a yeast bug out of the bottom of a of a Cooper's beer bottle, taking the, the yeast out of there. But for some, the lockdown has brought home a kind of culinary hell. Auckland law lecturer Akshaya Kamalnath hates to cook. Since I live in the CBD, there was always something I could eat or order in. Um, but I did do some basic toast rice. I'm from India, so rice and lentils are the staples. So I can do that, but nothing more. She's tried but failed to get on the bandwagon these past two weeks, so has resigned herself to the basics. I I did instant noodles for a while and got sick of that, so now I make some rice, sausages, um, some attempts at a chicken curry. Yeah, once once it's uh, back to normal, I'll be going for takeouts again. Wellington lawyer Bradley Cato's in a similar boat. Luckily, his partner Lucy's in his bubble and loves to cook, but that might be because he only has one dish in his repertoire. There's really only one, and that's spaghetti carrot. Um, it's um, it's it's a very easy to prepare, but highly nutritious. It just involves um, a can of spaghetti. I prefer waddies, um, and you just tip the can into a bowl. Um, chop a carrot in half and mix in the carrot with the spaghetti. Um, Usually serves two. You don't have to heat it. The spaghetti is pre-cooked and um, and carrots are the most nutritious raw. So I have offered to provide that meal, but it hasn't been taken up yet. With two more weeks of level four lockdown to go, there's still time for those budding cooks to improve their skills and even show them off on social media. I'm not sure, however, if Spaghetti Carrot would get many likes. For Checkpoint, Anusha Bradley.